A center in Bend helping the homeless transition to permanent housing is seeing success less than a year after opening. Bola Batabo has an update on the Lighthouse Navigation Center. On July 21st, 2021, I was struck and hit by a car crossing uh, Fred Myers on Reed Lane, um, which landed me to sleep in a tent in China Hat. With the recent clearing of China Hat Road, Nicole Gilly is using the Lighthouse Navigation Center to transition into greater stability. Transitions um, are any forward progress for a participant that is uh, actively engaged in services here at the Lighthouse. Transitions include finding housing or job stability, moving into a high barrier shelter like Bethlehem Inn, or going into detox or treatment of some kind. Since the Navigation Center, operated by Shepherd's House Ministries, opened in Bend nine months ago, an average of 14 individuals a month have been transitioning. Two months ago, February, uh, we saw a, a little bit of a jump and we jumped to 20 unique individuals transitioning for the month of February and then March um, was a significant jump and we jumped up to, I believe, 31 or 32 unique individuals. 14 of those transitioned into permanent housing. As part of her journey to permanent housing, Gilly just put in an application for Central Oregon Villages and hopes to find a part-time job. Claudia Bussey is in the midst of her own journey. She's been using the services at the Navigation Center for more than a year as she struggles with alcoholism. I'm going to Ideal Options and they're working out with me and helping me and they prescribe me different um, sorts of medications of, of four different kinds to help me with cravings. So an average uh, case manager has between 30 and 35 individuals on their caseload. With the addition of three case managers and two peer support specialists in the last few months, the Lighthouse Navigation Center hopes to contribute to more transitions. About a third of the individuals are here pretty much every day, all day, and so easily accessible and regularly connecting with their caseworker. Uh, the next third are here three to five times a week and kind of pop in and out. They might have employment. And the last third is a pretty, um, uh, a pretty fluid group. Those folks tend to rotate um, pretty regularly. Because of its partnerships with many local organizations, the center has the capacity to offer services to even more people. It's also involved in outreach and trash cleanups. Well, News Channel 21.